This week I tried to learn how to manual. A manual is basically like a wheelie. The main difference is that manuals don't require pedaling to keep the front wheel up and maintaining speed. And even if I already know how to wheelie pretty well, when I first started practicing the manual, the results were absolutely terrible. I wasn't lifting the front wheel enough or I was lifting it too much, causing me to flip the bike. I have absolutely no idea how this works. Then, as always, I decided to get the theory down, and I realized that I was completely missing the very first step, lifting the front wheel the right way. I was pulling really hard the handlebar, keeping the body in a vertical position. And by doing that, I was not only risking to rip my arms off, but I wasn't able to keep the position for more than a second. The right method consists in compressing your arms while lowering the upper body, and then extending your arms while leaning back as far as you can. And lastly, pushing the bike forward with the legs. In the beginning, it was still really difficult to combine all these movements and I was still pulling the rear brake really hard. It is necessary to learn how to slightly touch the rear brake to not lose too much speed. I also tried to get comfortable looping out the bike to safely exit the manual in case you miss the brake. After a while, I realized by watching my footage that I wasn't leaning back enough. And when I tried to fix that, it got a bit easier to hold the position. The next day, I went to a flat surface to move on to the next step, keeping the front wheel up. The theory consists in lifting the front wheel exactly as we did before, but this time instead of looping out when the front wheel gets too high, we should bend the knees to shift the weight forward and therefore lower the front wheel. And that's obviously easier said than done. I couldn't even manual for 2 meters. I was constantly bailing out or dropping the front wheel. Sometimes my lifting motion was correct, but I wasn't moving my hips and my legs to keep the front wheel up. I'm stuck. My hand hurts and I wasn't making any progress. I was tired and pretty sad, so I decided to try an easy challenge to lift my moral. I wanted to cover at least six meters with a manual. And even if I wasn't applying the right motion to maintain the manual, I was getting pretty close. And after about 40 attempts, in the end, I got it. Yes! The next day I was extremely motivated and scared at the same time. My lifting technique was really bad, so I practiced for a while to get more fluid. And I also actually started to move my hips to lower or lift the front wheel. But I was constantly touching the rear brake too hard, causing my front wheel to drop immediately. So I tried to force myself to not using it. But it didn't really work. It's been really hard. I kept practicing over and over again with just little improvements. And even if I was still doing something wrong, slowly the right movements were becoming more intuitive. And then this happened. I knew it. That's, that's my knee right here. <laughs> you can easily prevent this from happening by using knee pads. Speaking of protection, I want to take a few seconds to talk about the sponsor of this video, ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN protects you and your personal information while browsing online. Every time you're connected, you're giving away pieces of private data that can be stolen and reused by anyone, whether it's hackers or your internet provider. Your internet provider can literally see every website you've ever visited. Moreover, for example, in the US, ISPs are legally allowed to sell your browsing data to companies. ExpressVPN creates an encrypted tunnel that hides your data so literally nobody can see them, including ExpressVPN itself. Another reason why I love their service is that ExpressVPN allows you to change your location choosing from 94 different servers, which is a lot. Without a VPN, I was missing out many cheaper subscriptions or Netflix shows that are only available in certain countries. For example, from the United Kingdom, I couldn't watch one of my favorite movies, The Lord of the Rings. With ExpressVPN, it literally takes me two clicks to be connected to Canada, and here it is. Now you can watch it. Find out how you can get 3 months free by clicking the link in the description, expressvpn.com slash mikeshake. Back to the manual. At the end of the day, I could get some decent results. But by watching the footage, I realized that I was still keeping my body really high. And the higher you keep your body, the higher the front wheel should be to maintain the balance. And this was causing me to flip the bike consistently. The fourth day, I tried to keep my upper body lower than the day before. And this caused a good improvement. I had more control of the front wheel, but for some reason, every single time, I was losing balance on the sides. I found online that when this happens, you can move both knees to the opposite side to maintain balance in the center and the bike straight. But I kept trying and no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't fix the problem. I was still missing something. Then I realized that to lift the front wheel, I was still pulling the handlebar with my arms. And this was preventing the bike to stay straight. 
Moreover, I was training the manual going really slow and on an irregular surface. But the faster you go, the easier it gets to control the manual. And that's the same reason why riding makes it easier to maintain the position compared to when you try to track stand. By keeping my arms straight and going faster on a smooth surface, I finally started to get the first good results. I learned to balance the bike on the sides and to control the rear brake, avoiding to brake too hard and dropping my front wheel immediately. And at this point, I was completely exhausted. The fifth day, my legs were hurting, but I wanted to give it all to get a 30 meters manual. So I went to the only street with a smooth surface in my hometown and I put on my brand new undersized knee pads. My knee pads are extremely tight because I might have accidentally bought protections for kids. I took a long run up to get enough speed and I started trying. And the first few attempts were not even close to reaching 30 meters. I was still losing balance on the sides or I was dropping my front wheel too soon. But I kept trying again and again. And after failing for about 30 minutes, my legs started to give up and my hands started to hurt. But then out of nowhere, something clicked and I finally started to get good results. Yes. And after five hours and 17 minutes of practice, I got it. And I kept going until about 46 meters. This one has been really hard. I seriously doubted I could get it in less than a week. But in the end, once again, we proved that it's really all about practice. <laughs>